Now there is a revolution that is happening with tennis shoes and I wanted to get to the bottom of this so I spoke with a former priest turned entrepreneur who is a pilot and real estate expert who is now changing your sneakers for the second time. It broke in two pieces so I tied one, one bow down here and the other bow up here at the normal spot. That was 1962. Tom Adams liked how separating the tension across the midfoot felt and then purposely cut his tennis shoes and laces to recreate it. He invented a unique looking shoe with a name that also came as an accident from a slip of the tongue while playing with his daughters, Michaela and Paula. I called Michaela, Kayla, but for some reason I said, Kepa. I had combined the names of the two girls. Kepa and its two shoelaces became immensely popular, even landing him on the Merv Griffin Show. Another company took over once his patent ran out. And fast forward to today, and now Adams is working to get rid of what he worked so hard to recreate, that shoelace. So you now have a dramatic, revolutionary way to tie shoes. So that's why we say we're out, we're going to kill the shoelace because this is so easy and so effective. The closure system spreads the tension across the foot to make it as comfortable as possible and easy to put on. Here's the fit squared, fit two, says the uh, shoelace is dead, introducing fit two, the new closure system. Since I have worn the Capa style shoes, I was game to try his newest idea. Okay, now pull it back towards the rear. Okay. So that it's firm and then let it, right, there you go. There you go. Now there you go. You see, it fits you here, mm -hmm. here, and here with one single pull. Okay, pull them and there you go. And you're ready. Okay, here we go. Comfortable. Very nice. There you go. <laughs> see, that's what one pull does. I want to show you our, our new product. Here. Originally, Adams and his co-inventor created the shoe for anyone with decreased mobility, including pregnant women, but now makes the shoes for all women, sold in stores in six states, including the Medical Center Foot Solutions and Solar Sports Stores. As of this month, you can also buy them online. And by the end of the year, a children's line will be available. And he didn't forget the guys. Their shoes should be ready for launch next summer. This is changing the way people are going to wear shoes. Indeed. Okay, so remember, Adams brought us the Capas right, back right. in the 80s, and then for a time had a company called Ratama. And for longtime folks from News 4 San Antonio, we received these shoes back in the late 90s. And this is my pair, and I'm going to donate you it used to. It too. Ta yeah, I used it. The, the Smithsonian? It shows that I'm a pack gonna... rat, but I still have them. <laughs> now you can see it too. Look at that. You yes. can see the double laces. And so I'm giving these to Tom because he has kind of a museum uh -huh. that shows the history uh -huh. of all of the things that he's come up with. But this is, oops, sorry about that. Guys trying to get a close up. This is the new shoe system. It is very comfortable, easy to put on. And he says that once this gets going, he has another project and he's just not stopping. I'm sure at he does. Something. What an amazing man. He truly is. Makes me want to sleep even less and do more with my life because, <laughs> boy, he certainly has <laughs> done right. a lot. So I can't wait till they go. come out with the guys. That's next summer for you. You'll uh, have to wait for a little very, while. Very cool. Well, finally, the end of fighting over the television remote control, believe it or not, coming up, the new television that responds to your voice. Cool. All yeah. right. And also, of course, it's Monday. A lot of people are getting ready. They're going to be commuting across the state. Got your travel weather forecast coming up right after this short break.